Circle of circular polarized FPVLR antennas. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about FPVLR circular pol pol polarized antennas. Um, I've been struggling with these guys because of a couple of the issues that they have with this design, but I uh, found a way how to improve them, and I'm gonna share that with you. So um, let's get to it. Okay, and we're at looking at the problems and the, uh, well, design flaws and the, the idea of circular polarized is great idea, uh, but FPVLR should have done a little better of a job of designing this whole thing. Here's my, okay, now let's get to the problem side. When I got these antennas, they were shipped to me in this box right here. When I got them out of the box, there was no packaging materials, just two of these guys flipping and flopping inside. So when I pulled them out, it was already bent. Um, in a couple of places, they're just jamming to each other. And uh, so that's the first thing. And I thought to myself, you know, if I have this antenna and I have to travel with it, I have to put them in the traveling bag or just put a remote in a car, how many times am I gonna bend this wire? It's, it's bad designed without having it unprotected unless you have this special little case just for the antennas themselves. You know, you bump into something and you bend this wire. I mean, this is, this is the flaw of the design because you have to baby this thing. I found a way how to protect this thing and make a little case for it. I'm gonna show it to you. You can build that thing in like two minutes. The second um, problem I had is with that little stand. So when I got antennas, the box showed them like this with a little stubby in there. I actually got them out of the box. They had this two and a half, three inch long wire uh, with the SMA connector on it, but that thing was uh, flexible, as you can see on this video. Seems like something you can buy from China, you know, for $9, not a $130 set. A new and improved connector in there that I built. So let me show you, mm, can't wait. Okay, okay. now we're at the table and so first thing we're gonna solve is this connector because that was my biggest concern because how it's flipping floppy it was and it just looks weird when you have antenna this far away from the remote and it's kind of just sagging down you know it's PVLR come on guys you could have done better for $130 but anyway um, you know what let me open it to show it to you so here's here's what I did I'm just gonna open up my my um, job thing, solder job, and I'm gonna show it to you how I did it. So, this is the crimp that crimps the wire around with insulation. Um, I don't know if you can see it, so there you go. And past that was another inch of the wire. So what I did is um, I cut it off, right at this, the wire, got this aside, I unsoldered the center pin and all that, cleaned it up and all that stuff. And then I cut the wire just a quarter inch past this base, quarter inch past this, it was the wire was this long. So um, I cut the wire, I got that the uh, grounding insulation part of a, a hard piece, I stuck right against the base pin the center um, wire came out I cut it down to the side soldered it to the back to that same connector insulation that's around I spread it out I soldered that around and I also soldered this base to that um, to the to the plate that's how it should have been done um, it looks great on the remote it's a lot shorter no no play before you just you move around and it just just flips and flops I mean this is this is good and then uh, you just get a piece of heat shrink um, that you saw me uh, removed and just slide it over heat shrink it and kind of make it nice so so this is fix number one the second fix is about protecting this because this is this is really soft and boom this is what I did guys. I walked around the house and I found a spray can that was um, big enough. I found the one that fits right over this and it's nice, kind of clear. I mean, you can kind of see what's inside. Same time, it fits right in. I mean, think about it guys. Look, look at this fitment. This is the, the final product. So what I did is I did a couple of slices. 
as you can see there's a lip there's like a little lip inside inside right here that we kind of want to slide antenna against that lip that's right there to let the antenna fit inside nicer see it goes it goes right in you kind of have to help it and it gets stuck on those little um, things that's supposed to hold around this right lips are sticking out a little bit so now what you do now is you take your knife this is the final product right here I mean I I'll probably have a hard time pulling this out I mean you can pry it out with a screwdriver but check out my channel please consider clicking subscribe and subscribe to my channel for future videos um, and all the good stuff about Mavic uh, Pro modifications and all of that and so um, there you go that's what I did that's my improvements to FPV LR thank you for watching uh, thank you for subscribing and liking this video and I'll see you in the next one